Uh, Katy National Park sees approximately 2.4 million visitors a year. Typically the first week of June, uh, Memorial Day weekend kind of gets things rolling for us. My job description is a supervisor U.S. Park Ranger, so um, basically I am a shift lead for uh, one of our three shifts um, in the summer months, so I'll supervise field staff, um, but also go out there and lend a hand where I can. We're out there, we're the boots on the ground, so to speak. Um, if folks have questions, uh, we, you know, if we don't know the answer, we're going to find it for you. Um, but uh, we like to get out there and, uh, and meet the people and, and see how your park experience is going. And we are a very dog-friendly park, um, and we encourage folks to bring their dogs. And at least it can be a maximum of six feet in length. Otherwise, the dog has to be physically uh, restrained at all times, crated. We ask that the owners clean up after their dogs. We like the park to, uh, it has a reputation, uh, a good reputation of being a beautiful place and visitors come to expect a certain uh, level of service from us and uh, they don't want to see that, so. Plan out your trip, take uh, the adequate supplies with you, food and water, sunscreen, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, and, and good footwear goes a long way. You know, the weather's changing. People are, are wanting to come out and enjoy that spring weather. Um, and another unique thing that we're, we're doing this spring on uh, May 16th, which is a Saturday, is we're offering a car-free uh, morning uh, to folks that want to come out and enjoy the Park Loop Road uh, via bicycle or, or walking. And uh, the park is, is going to waive the entrance fee during that time. So come out and enjoy the park for free. It should be a, a unique opportunity for folks that want to get out and enjoy the spring weather and uh, a little different take on the park for the, for the morning.